what we have here is integration of exponential function okay now this formula here is not in the test it's not in your tables the formula that is in your tables is uh, when you when you integrate e to the when you integrate e to the x the answer is e to the x in the same way when you differentiate e to the x the answer is e to the x bottom line is e to the x never changes its power will never ever change it's like the angle in the sine and cos functions it just doesn't change so i'm going to give you two examples here now and we'll show you how to do these okay so first example would be uh, e to the 4x or i'm going to integrate e to the 4x e to the 4x plus one okay i'm asked to integrate this with respect to dx now i look at my tables in the exam and I'm going, okay, this is a different type of question. But what I'm very much aware of is that the power doesn't change. So straight away, I can say e to the 4x plus 1 is in the integration. Now, if I was to differentiate that, what would happen? You'd end up having a 4 out in front as well, wouldn't you? So you need something to, to take away from that 4. So when you're integrating, differentiate the power. Whatever the derivative of the power is, divide it by it. So the answer is e to the 4x over 4 plus c. I'll give you another one. Okay. So the way I'd have this learned off by heart is no matter what is here, okay, I'd have e to the box and then 1 over and then the derivative of the, the box. That's the way I'd have it learned off. That would be my formula that I'd have learnt off as opposed to as opposed to anything formal. Okay, the box is the same, differentiate the box in the bottom. So let's try another one. Okay, uh, so for example, we could try question four. Okay, so question four is e to the power of one minus three x dx. Okay, in this scenario, it's going to be e to the power of the box. And then what do we do to the box? And what's in the bottom? Plus c. And then we can we can also call that minus a third e to the one minus three x plus c. Is everybody happy with that? Okay, we'll do one or two harder ones in a minute. Now, the next type of question we have is the uh, a to the x questions. So, uh, Simon, is this exactly as it looks in the tables? Bar to c. So what does it say in the tables? It says, yeah, a to the x is yeah. equal to a x over ln a. So that's perfect. A x over ln a, no integral sign. So that's perfect. It gives us exactly what we need to do this question. So it's very simple. In a test, okay, you're, you might be given this. You might be given this. Integrate 3 to the power of x minus 2. Well, what we can say here is that the bracket, the bracket, uh, the power never changes. Okay? So, once again, I am going to do the same thing as I did last time. I'm going to come up with a general expression for this. Okay? So, my general expression, okay, it's going to be A, uh, it's, so it's basically A to the power of a box. Okay? It's whatever is in the box. And then ln, uh, ln, the, uh, so excuse me, yeah, it's whatever is in the box goes on top, and then whatever is in this one here, whichever, what's, whatever the, the number is, the base number is, goes beside the ln. That's the way these ones work. So let me show you an example, okay? This one here, follow the uh, formula rigidly, okay? And what we get here is uh, 3 x to the minus 2 all over ln 3 plus c okay you leave it like just leave it like that or we could have another type of question the next type of question is uh sorry leave that there for a second the next type of question could be this one here where we have two definite we have it there's no c this time because there's a, a definite answer isn't there okay now look at this one in this scenario, what we're doing is this. We're saying uh, a is 2, 
So it's going to be 2 to the power of x all divided by. It's basically the original formula divided by ln of the base number. Yeah? And then what, what do we have to do here? We have to do 4 and 2. So we're going to get is uh, 2 to the power of 4 all over ln 2. And then we're going to get minus 2 to the power of 2 all over ln 2. We can put all of that into the calculator. And I wonder if there's another way of doing it actually. Yeah, sorry, we're going to get 16 ln 2 all over 4 ln 2. And that will make 12 ln 2. 16 minus 4, 12. Okay, because they have the same denominator. Alright, guys. Shh. I'm now going to try out. I've done a couple of the single ones, so I'm going to try out a double one or two. So I'm going to try seven, eight. I'm then going to try. Shh. Excuse me. Shh. Seven, eight, eleven, fifteen, and eighteen. That's a good. That's good. Good question, Sarah. Right. So seven, eight, eleven, fifteen, and eighteen. So let's see what happens here. Okay. So in question seven, we have the integral of e to the two x plus e to the x dx. Now, what do we remember about this one? Power never changes. Power never changes. What's on the bottom? Derivative. derivative of the power. Power never changes. Derivative of the power. That's it. Power never changes. Derivative of the power. Underneath. Okay. So that's question seven. Done extremely efficiently. No bother there. Now let's go to number eight. Shh. Number 8 is different, so number 8 just requires a bit of modification before you begin. How would you modify number 8 lads to begin the question? It's going to be e to the 3x, and what, what's 1 over e to the 3x? E minus 3 minus 2 over uh, yeah. minus Perfect, okay, dx. <coughs> now, like last time Rory, what, what do you think happens to this? Uh, it doesn't do that. Same thing divided by its three derivative. derivative of the power. Same thing, <laughs> divided by the derivative of the power. Now, here's an interesting one. That's minus 1 over 3, technically, yeah? Now, what's minus 1 divided by minus 3? Plus a third. So it's going to be e to the 3x over 3 plus e to the uh, minus 3x all over 3 plus c. Alright, happy enough with that? You could also change that answer into what? You could just do one more modification if you wanted. You could do it like uh, plus 1 over 3. That's the same answer. Does everybody understand that? Just move the power downwards. Okay, let's move on. So, Wait, where did you go from just quickly? You see the, where it's black and then it goes to blue. Yeah, those two. What's, where did you find the blue? See, see the minus 1? Yeah. See the minus 3? That's the same thing as a third, 1 over 3. So why is the e allowed to move down as well? Uh, any power, remember we did this uh, the other day, 3 to the power minus 2, yeah, it's yeah. the same thing as 1 over 3 to the power 2. Then Both the 3 and the 2 move down, in the same way the e and the 3x move down. Yeah. Okay, so that's moving on, that's number 8, we're now going to do number 11. Is it number 11 I circled? Yeah. I think so anyway. Okay, so I'll leave that up for a minute longer. Produce it over here. Now, number 11 guys. Here we go. So number 11. In number 11 we have the integral of 2, 0 e to the 4x minus 1 dx. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here once again what what's the rule? Power never changes. What's the derivative of the power? Four. 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 From two to zero. Let's put in some numbers here. So we're gonna get e to the power of what is four x minus one? If x is two, what's four x minus one? Seven. So it's gonna be e to the seven over four minus zero. E to the zero. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Okay. 
Shh. It's going to be 4 times 0 minus 1 is e to the minus 1 over 4. Okay. Now, can somebody do me a favour here? What these guys did was they didn't do anything else. They just took out a quarter and they left it as e to the 7 e to the minus 1. And then you can say it's a quarter e to the 7 minus 1 over e. All of them are the same answer. They're just written three different ways. They're all, they're all good answers. Okay. Now, shh, what's going to happen next is uh, we've done 11. Now we're on number 12, number 15. Shh. Okay. So number 15, okay. Number 15 is using the equation. What is it? Uh, the integral of a to the x equals a to the x over ln a. So let's do number 15 with this logic, okay? 15 equals the integral of 2 to the power of x minus 2 dx. Now what's our rule again? Power and ever? And then what do we differ uh, what do we put in the bottom? Ln x. Ah, sorry, it's different. It's it's this number here. Ln2. Plus C. That's you done. Okay. Still one more. One more for the road. Uh, this is uh, 18. In question 18, we're going to have the integral of 2, 0, Frank. 2 to the x minus 3 dx. Okay, once again, it's 2 to the power of x minus 3 all over what, Shane? Ln2. Ln2. Then upon completion of that, you got to do your 2 and your yeah. 0. So let's find out. So it's going to be uh, 2 minus 3. 2 to the power of minus 1 all over ln 2 and then the next one's going to be 2 to the power of minus 3 all over 2. Now this is an interesting one. What is 2 to the power of minus 1? Half. What's 2 to the power of minus 3? An 8. So technically this question becomes this. A half 1 over ln 2 minus an 8 1 over ln 2 now do you see the way this could be written as see the way these two things are exactly the same yeah. it's nearly the exact same question as a half y minus an 8y what is a half y minus an 8y it's 4 8 minus 1 8 which is by this logic this is 3 8 1 over ln 2 which is 3 over 8 ln 2 Okay, good.